William Sidney Pickman, black architect, was born in Alabama on April 21, 1875. He attended Tuskegee Institute where he completed programs in woodwork and architectural mechanical drawings in 1897. He then entered Drexel Institute in Philadelphia where he completed the architecture and mechanical drawings program in 1900. From late 1900 to 1905, Pittman worked at Tuskegee Institute as head of the Department of Architectural Drawing. He was responsible for overseeing all campus construction. In late 1903, he left Tuskegee to establish a private practice in Washington, D.C. Between 1905 and 1909, he designed public schools, college facilities, and hotels, and gained recognition as one of the most accomplished black architects in America. During this period, he was commissioned to prepare, design, and construction documents for the Negro Building at the Jamestown Exhibition, the World's Fair held in Virginia in 1907. Pittman was also involved in community development in Fairmont Heights, Maryland, where he lived. He organized and was elected president of the Fairmont Heights Improvement Company, an investment organization geared towards fostering an alternative to the inner city ghetto. He was president of the Heights Citizens Committee and the Washington chapter of the Negro Business League, for which he edited the Negro Business League Herald. In 1907, Pittman married, married Portia Washington, daughter of Booker T. Washington, who was the founder and principal of Tuskegee Institute. In 1913, the Pittmans moved to Dallas, Texas, where they raised two sons and a daughter. Between 1911 and 1927, they resided at three different addresses. At each, Pittman operated his architectural practice from his home. He was the first practicing black architect in Texas. During his 16-year practice in Dallas, he designed at least seven major projects in the city, as well as projects in Fort Worth, Houston, San Antonio, and Wachahachi. Five of his known structures still stood in 1990. The Colored Carnegie Library of Houston, which was built in 1913, was torn down in 1962 to yield to a freeway. The Allen Chapel AME Church, which was built in 1914, still stands in Fort Worth, Texas. The United Brotherhood Brothers of Friendship Hall of San Antonio, which was built in 1915, was also demolished in the path of an expressway. Joshua Chapel AME Church was dedicated in 1917. The Grand Temple, which was built in 1915, of the State Grand Lodge, Knight of Pius, a black fraternal organization, still stands in Dallas, though the five-story structure is no longer owned by the Pius families. The St. James AME Church was built in 1919 and still stands in Dallas within view of the old Knights of Pius headquarters. The building was sold and remodeled as office space in 1984. In Houston, the five-story Grand United Order of Odd Fellows Lodge building was constructed from Pittman, Pittman's plan in 1924. It was raised in 1982 to make way for a parking and annex space for the Alley Theater. The Wesley Chapel AME Church was built in 1926. The original building still stands southeast of downtown Houston. The Colored Carnegie Library of Houston and the Knight of, of Pius Temple of Dallas were acclaimed across the United States in newspapers and magazines. The library was, was the first one for blacks in Houston. The Pius Temple was almost totally financed by the black citizens of Dallas. Both structures were presented as examples for other African Americans to emulate. They were benchmarks for Texas and the United States. In 1925, Pittman became president of the Brotherhood of Negro Building Mechanics in Texas. In 1928, he and his wife separated and he ceased to practice as an architect. She returned to Tuskegee and worked as a teacher. 
During the 1930s and 1940s, Pittman earned a living as a carpenter and published a weekly newspaper, The Brotherhood Eyes. He used the paper to vent his criticisms of the black community. A firm believer in supporting black businesses, Pittman charged the black middle class with hypocrisy for patronizing white businesses instead of black ones. He also criticized black ministers for their lax morals. The black preachers Pittman attacked for filing their coff- for filling their coffers while ignoring the homeless and hungry are dead. As are most of the people who brought the paper faithfully to read Pittman's attempt to, as he put it, clean the race of crooked leaders and expose the unfit and, un- and misfit within the race. Above the mash head of every issue was the paper slogan in red letters, a newspaper that doesn't cross the color line. A box on page one described the newspaper's purpose. B.E. is after the evildoer within the race. It plays no favorites and recognizes no sex. It works through the eyes. As a result of his publications, Pittman was charged with libel in 1936, but he was acquitted. He died in Dallas on March 14, 1958, and was buried in the Glen Oak Cemetery in South Dallas. Because he practiced in Texas longer than any other state, the state should have more examples of his work than any other region of the United States. The majority of his structures have not been identified, however, and may never be identified because public records of them are lacking and Pittman's personal records have not been located. Did you know that he designed a landmark in the section of Washington, D.C. known as Dean Wood? Many of our great black leaders once lived in this Northeast neighborhood. Carter G. Woodson, Booker T. Washington, Chancellor William, just to name a few. This was one of the, one of the only locations of the city that Negroes could build and own their own houses. Now here is a little history about this chess house. For a gentleman of Pittman's renowned reputation to be the designer of <clears throat> this building, it was special because most people in Deanwood at the time built their own homes. They could not afford to pay a designer, especially the likes of Pittman's caliber. At that time, it wasn't a chess house, but it was a zone commercial building and residential because Sheriff Road was a very busy street at the time. He never did reside at this dwelling, according to the records. The fireplaces are the original, along with the hardwood floors. Some of Pittman's designs also include Garfield Elementary School, the 12th Street Colored Young Men's Christian Association, which is now the Thurgood Marshall Center for Service and Heritage, and the Zion Baptist Church. Zion Baptist Church, this white frame building, has served several church congregations since its construction in 1908. The first Zion Church stayed for more than 60 years. Since 1993, members of Joshua Temple First Born Church have worshiped within its walls. Pittman designed the building to the right of the church, which is the home of the Dean Wood Chess House, which is a branch of the Big Chair Chess Club since 1991. The club uses chess to teach children and adults that their decisions in life, as on the game board, have consequences. This is why history points a finger to preserve this building and its history. This is a trip you can add to your Black History Tour list and bring your children. Uh, visiting hours at the D. Wood Chess House are Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 2 p.m. to 9 p.m., and on Saturdays from 12 noon to 8 p.m. For further information or to confirm the hours, please call area code 202-396-1780. That's 202-396-1780. Let's check out some of the activities going on in the Big Chair Chess Club, Deanwood. 